Hey K-State fans, welcome to another edition of the Two Minute Bill. With number five Auburn set to visit number 19 Kansas State in only nine days, media members spent much of Bill Snyder's Tuesday news conference trying to get a grip on elusive quarterbacks Jake Waters of the Wildcats and Nick Marshall of Auburn. Waters of, was of particular interest after authoring a career-high 138-yard rushing performance last Saturday in K-State's 32-28 victory at Iowa State. The seniors' ground game may have caught media types off guard, but it didn't shock his head coach in the least. I don't think we ever felt that he that he couldn't run the ball. I mean, that's never been on our uh, on our plate. I think all of us here have known uh, in our program have known that he has the capacity to do both. So, you know, it wasn't a surprise to us, I've, and it surprises me that it's a surprise to anybody else. As for the punishment, Waters likely will absorb while rushing. Snyder indicated it is simply part of the game. If you're quarterback, you're going to get hit. I mean, whether you're running the ball or whether you're throwing it. I mean, you know, in, in either case, if, you know, scrambles, etc. And and Jake's been, you know, a durable young guy. Uh, but it, you know, I mean, how much I don't know on a scale of one to ten. I don't know how much bothers me. But uh, but it, you know, you have a great deal of concern about it. But you have a great deal of concern about, you know, your running back and. Your offensive lineman, and I mean, there's all kinds of guys that get get banged up in the course of the ball game. It's a, it's, as they say, a physical <coughs> physical game. While Waters' running skills were one hot topic, Marshall's passing abilities also have been a hot button issue this season. The former Garden City Community College quarterback is known primarily as a zone read run specialist, and many many pundits remain skeptical of his throwing arm, despite the fact that he threw for nearly 2,000 yards last season while leading the Tigers to the national championship game. You need to watch the same tape I watch. I mean, he can, he can throw the ball. He can get it, you know, he can get it there and he can get it there in a hurry. Uh, I mean, he's just, uh, you know, he's a true dual threat guy. Marshall is far from the Tigers' only offensive threat, however. Auburn will come to K-State averaging 544 yards of offense. Running back Cameron Artis Payne produces 144.5 rushing yards per game. Whiteout Dekeel Williams averages more than 100 receiving yards. And backup quarterback Jeremy Johnson has completed 15 of 20 passes for 277 yards and two touchdowns this season. Uh, they're, they're a physical offensive line. They're a, uh, uh, they've got speed in the backfield, uh, running back positions and quarterback position. and. Uh, and they run the ball well, and they're deceptive in the way they run the ball. Uh, and the, I mean, the ball carriers are deceptive. They can make you miss. Uh, wide receivers that are, that are uh, big, fast, physical. Uh, I don't think I left out of position, did I? Still, Snyder knows his players are greatly looking forward to the challenge. You know, it is a tremendous opportunity for them. And, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the opportunity is uh, immaterial if we don't correct mistakes and if we don't, you know, work to get ourselves a great deal better. In one personnel note to come from Tuesday's presser, Snyder explained why several late arriving junior college transfers, most notably linebacker Devontae Derricott and defensive tackle Terrell Klingscales, have yet to see the field. They've all made it through the clearinghouse. The, uh, you know, the only, uh, the only issue is just, you know, coming in so late, uh, being able to get a system in place and catch up with things, and, uh, and they haven't gotten there yet. 